Hi, welcome. I'm Taryn and today I would like to share with you some beautiful, subtle, yet powerful movement practices that can help you to come in to the pelvic bowl, to connect to the pelvic bowl and to awaken the energy in this space and also to generate a flow of energy between heart space and womb space. And what I offer you is to explore and experiment with these practices as I share and guide you through them today, but then to take them and make them your own and perhaps to integrate them with more intuitive movement or body-led movement. This is a really beautiful way to allow your body to guide you in a way that helps you to access your body's wisdom, that helps you to build trust in your body's knowing, that helps you to know that your body isn't wrong uh, and that it has this innate wisdom within and when we allow our body to show us the way when we allow our body to show us what would feel nourishing what would feel good how would you like to move today is actually i sense one of the best ways that we can awaken that wisdom from within there are certainly uh, womb practices and movement practices that are designed to be initiated into and then practice exactly how they are taught and those practice practices I deeply honor I deeply respect and I feel that that is uh, very important for, for certain types of practices these ones however are very gentle uh, movements and they are taught across different cultures so I've come across these uh, practices both in my um, in my world of physiotherapy uh, through some tantric yoga um, and even in Pilates and other ways that I've practiced with other um, professionals as well and teachers and so as we take these movements what I find in my own experience um, around connecting to your body in this way is that it's a beautiful way of using the movement to create uh, focused attention and awareness, to generate energy, to get things moving, but also to recognize what feels really familiar and easy and open and expressive and what feels a little bit more like an edge that we're pushing up against, a little bit uncomfortable perhaps. Uh, and that, both of those are brilliant and beautiful teachers, you know, the self-expression, and then also the, oh, this feels a little bit uncomfortable, so what is here for me to explore? Knowing, of course, that we need to feel completely safe in our body as we uh, move through anything. So if you're finding this edge, know that safety, feeling safe, feeling at home in your body and perhaps challenged a little bit is the, the priority, that safety. I feel safe in my body. And so that perhaps is the question too, what has you feel safe? to practice in this way. And so for me, uh, when I'm teaching perhaps, um, it might be to offer you to gently close down the eyes. It might be to have uh, music accompany. And then the other thing that really helps women is to know that there is no end point, no place that you need to get to, nothing that you need to achieve with these practices. It is the simple being with your body that is um, the intention. And what I found really uh, interesting for myself as well, which I would like to share, is how sometimes when I felt a real release through these movements, uh, a releasing of emotion, a releasing of shame, that there was this definite sensation of that which felt like my own, that it belonged to me. And then as I explored more deeply, uh, that which felt more like a collective or uh, 
an experience that was not from this um, my own body and in this lifetime. So I felt that's really um, interesting to share. And sometimes we don't know what what it is that we're releasing or moving through. And for me, that's less important than it is to actually have the sensation of moving through that. Uh, and you might find that um, after these uh, movement practices, that it might feel nice to journal out, to ask yourself some powerful, potent questions um, and to create uh, further intentions uh, that you would perhaps like to embody as you move through and forward in creating deepening connection with yourself and with your body and in particular your feminine body. So let's begin. Can I offer you to pull away the flesh from between the buttocks as you ground in nicely in a seated position, perhaps in a cross-legged position if that feels good for you. And taking a moment to really sense into that connection between the sit bones and the earth, just uh, having some appreciation for the earth beneath and the ground that is supporting you and the sit bones that are supporting you, how your body holds you and supports you. And then taking a moment to gently have the head stacking over the heart, and the heart stacking over the pelvis. And then perhaps letting the hands just rest and land onto the knees. Bringing the awareness to the breath, not forcing or changing the breath in any way, simply allowing it to be however it is in this moment. Bringing some awareness to your body. Noticing the parts that feel open and relaxed, soft and strong. And perhaps the spaces that may be holding a little bit of tension without trying to force that tension away, not to wrong it in our body, but to Actually ask your body, what would you need to soften? And allowing yourself to do whatever that is to help your body soften. Maybe some movement, maybe some touch, maybe some focused breath to that area of your body. And I invite you now to deepen and lengthen the breath just gently and noticing in your body where is the breath landing in particular noticing whether it is having a preference to landing towards the left side of the body or perhaps it's feeling as though it's energizing the right side of the body or it may be beautifully balanced there is no wrong And as you become aware of perhaps that dominant side, that more energized side, I offer you to start to create very gentle circles with your body in that direction. And if you did notice a beautiful balance, then simply choose whichever direction feels good for you. And as you move around in this circular motion, becoming aware of the energy that this creates in your body, how this feels in your body. And visualizing and sensing the pelvic bowl as the center point of which your body is moving around. It's like the body is stirring womb space. The body is stirring the energy within the pelvic bowl. 
inviting it to awaken, become more energized, to be in communication with whatever it may be for you that you're sensing or wanting to sense more of in this practice. And as we come to centre, simply notice how that feels in your body now. Where is the breath landing now? What has that awakened in you? And then when you're ready, taking those beautiful circular motions into the opposite direction. And you really can make these circles as big or as small as you would like, knowing that small and subtle movements can be very powerful. So it's not about the amplitude of the movement. It's about how it feels and what it ignites within you. And as you breathe, rather than focusing that the breath needs to be in at a particular phase of the movement and then exhale at a particular phase, just allow the movement to invite the breath to join. Let it flow and land in the way that your body is inviting it to. And again, finding some softness and stillness somewhere in the middle as you observe the body and how this may have changed what you are feeling. Bringing the feet to touch and having these beautiful butterfly wings and knowing that you can have the feet as far in front of you or as close to you as feels comfortable. We're going to take a very gentle hold of the feet. We're going to turn the soles outwards. And as we turn the soles outwards, we beam our chest forward. We open through the heart. And as we have the soles of the feet come to meet, we rock through the pelvis and gently tip or bow the head towards the feet. And we round through the back. So we're opening the entire body. We're opening through the pelvis, tipping the pelvis forwards. We're beaming through the heart and we're opening through the feet. We come inwards to the body. We beam outwards. And as we make these movements, it might be nice to reflect upon how this movement in itself mirrors the feminine way, the feminine way of moving inward for introspection, for curiosity, and then sharing our outward energy, coming in for self-nourishment, self-care, and then showing up and offering our nurturing way, our creative expression, our inward nature, perhaps as we do as we cycle through our bleed time, and then our more outward energy of ovulation. And know that there's no right or wrong way to feel in your body at any particular phase or stage. It's just a, an offering of how you might like to 
just connect to that feminine essence, that feminine energy. And again, allowing the breath to land as it wishes to. So no forcing the inhale or the exhale. Allow it to be. Allow the movement to invite the breath. We come back in towards center. We notice how does this feel in my body? We take the feet wide, as wide as feels good, and having them flat onto the earth beneath. Perhaps taking the hands to just below the knees or lower down if you feel uh, called to. And again, we're rocking through the pelvis and tipping the chin or bowing the chin slightly. As we move in this way, rounding through the back and opening and beaming through the chest. We come to meet our heart towards womb space and then we beam out through heart space and womb space. Really feeling that energetic connection between heart and womb. And again, allowing the breath. It might feel nice to exhale through the mouth with some of these movements. What a beautiful way to feel that energy shifting, that cleansing. And then again, stopping, resting in center, noticing how the body feels. We change up the position now when you feel ready to come into standing to explore some of these movements of the pelvis, of heart and womb in a standing position. So again, just anchoring into the body, feel that grounding through the earth beneath, that connection to the earth through the soles of the feet now. And perhaps taking one hand to womb space and one hand to heart space. Breathing into the body. Noticing if there's a preference of the breath that is energizing one side of the body more so than the other. And as you do that, to begin to circle the pelvis in that same direction. Remembering the amplitude can be as big or as small as you like. Knowing that these are subtle movements, but the energy that you can sense might be that very powerful sexual or sensual energy, feminine energy, womb energy, creative energy. With this practice, I also like to explore how it feels to bring the heart into it and how and this is really that, that sense of making it more intuitive where the heart and the head move alongside. So that might not feel good at this point in time or it might feel good. And then coming back to centre, Allowing that to land and how does it feel in my body? Absorb that shift or change. Notice. 
and taking those circles in the opposite direction. Again, you might like to add a little bit of movement through the spine, beaming the chest forward, knowing that's not a necessity. The chin might direct towards the ceiling and back down towards womb space or the earth. Very gentle. And then coming back to center. Absorbing. Now just half circles from one side to the other. Just thinking of a half moon and the pelvis moving on the edges of the half moon. Stopping and sensing that in the body. We take an infinity sign or a figure of eight with the body. Perhaps starting with the movement direction that just feels more natural or ease filled. We generally have one way of moving that feels. It's more natural or easy, more practiced. And then tuning into the energy. What is this awakening within? And then coming to stop in center and then taking that figure of eight in the opposite direction. How does that feel in your body? Noticing perhaps any dialogue that the mind creates and not buying into the story or having to grip on, let it leave. Just notice the dialogue that's there let it pass and then come back into the body. Notice the energy that's being awakened within. And then again, stopping and noticing. You might like to stop in stillness or stop within a very subtle, gentle movement. Next practice, you don't need to change your footing. We're going to just come onto the side to show you this very gentle now rocking of the pelvis forward and backwards. And you might like to have the hands to touch onto towards the pubic bone and onto the sacrum and help with that gentle rocking motion. This can be a more challenging motion to perform and then as you have feel like you have that motion generating you might like again to have heart heart hand to heart and hand to womb space or even both onto womb space might like to again bring that more intuitive approach of having the hands be wherever they are called to be, perhaps a massage onto the body. Perhaps bringing some flow to the movement with the arms. So it's snaking off the body. And again, 
really having that awareness of womb space and heart space and that connection together. Again, finding a place of stillness, noticing what that has awakened within you. And then very gently coming back to a seated position. Perhaps you're already beginning to sense how you would bring this, some of these movements into your own intuitive body-led practices. You find that seat, again, that comfortable position anchoring in through the sit bones in the head stacked over the heart and the heart stacked over the womb. We breathe deep all the way into the pelvic bowl. Noticing, noticing the energy within this space in your body. Perhaps a word or an emotion or an intention come to your heart or to your mind through the body and from the body. And taking a moment to thank yourself and your body, for your body for this expression of movement today and to yourself for exploring your body in this way. And then to close your practice to simply feel what does your body, if anything, does it need from you now? It might be some touch, it might be a little bit of movement, like I said, it might be some journaling of some thoughts, some words, or it might be to practice and uh, experiment and explore that more intuitive movement and inviting some of these movements into that way. Uh, I will offer this here <laughs> um, as well but what I really like to explore too is movements on all fours. Movements on all fours is a really beautiful way which we didn't explore through this practice to begin to bring in that intuitive body-led movement. So from sitting, laying, four-point kneeling, standing, exploring all of these ways of moving your body in that really feminine and expressive way. So thank you. Thank you again for joining me and may you have the most beautiful, beautiful day uh, feeling into your feminine essence and uh, your creative center. <laughs>